What's up guys? So today we're gonna to be doing another T-Mobile Starlink beta test. We are gonna be driving out to Laurel, Indiana, which is a much bigger dead zone than the last one that I was in. And we're gonna see, since it's a little bit nicer out today, less cloud cover, it's a more open area, um, hopefully we can get some better results. I'm definitely curious to see how well it can possibly work. So I've seen multiple different people with different experiences a um, couple articles here and there online, and it seems fairly consistent that people are having issues with it, but it seems like further north you are, it works a little bit better. And I'd say I'm fairly far north, all things considered. So I'm really interested to see if it'll work better this time, just based on environmental factors and stuff. There were a couple more things that I was gonna test, like a phone call just to see what would happen. Um, and I also downloaded WhatsApp so I could try and send messages in there. I know some people have said that they work, but I don't know if I've seen any concrete proof yet. So we're gonna check that out as well. It's about hour and a half drive from here. Hopefully the weather is still nice when I get there. I will see you guys in a bit. I almost forgot. Um, I'm also gonna hopefully get RCS to work. I'm assuming last time it didn't work because service was just so bad. It seems like people that have tested on Androids have gotten the RCS to work. So I'm really hoping that on the iPhone it will work as well. All right, so we made it here. It's probably a little bit loud in this spot, so I might try and move over to the parking lot, but we're gonna do another quick test here. One thing I did notice was that it was connecting on and off in the car, but obviously I didn't record since I was driving, but it was receiving texts and like normal, but I haven't really tried to send anything yet, so let's take a look at it. So we're in a fairly wide open area here. Let's see. Once again, we've only got we've only got one bar, but it went through pretty much instantly, which is sweet. Let's just send one more to see. Now this one isn't going through. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so already it's it's a lot better than last time when we were testing. So let's jump on over and see. Of course, it thinks that RCS is connected, but let's see if that's actually true. Yep, not delivered, same thing as before. Hop back over here. So I got these responses also pretty quickly, um, but you can see it just lost connection again. Again, you know. It is cloudy, but it's still a lot clearer than last time when it was pouring rain. We're in a fairly open area. Some trees and stuff behind me. All right, so right now we're actually back in the car because honestly, I did not bring appropriate gear for how cold it is right now. It's like 30 degrees. So my hands were pretty much frozen. I couldn't really test, uh, I couldn't really type. So I had to get back in the car. Uh, we've still been connected off and on, but right now I was just going to try a test in WhatsApp because some people had been asking about that. So let's see. So honestly, I haven't really used WhatsApp much, but it seems like it's not going to work. It keeps saying waiting for network and this message is showing that, which I think means that it's waiting for network, waiting to send. So unfortunately, I don't think that's going to work. One thing I noticed is that it, it keeps dropping out just, just kind of like in the last video. Even when I was standing out in that field, they kept dropping in and out and it's pretty much doing the same thing right now. So I was gonna try and do a call test, but it dropped out. Um, it just came back again. So we've got, I wasn't super clear about how this went last time, but this is just my Samsung S24 on Verizon on the left here and it has just LTE connection right now. And then obviously I have my iPhone on the right here. So I'm gonna see if I try and call what happens. I assume it's just not going to do anything. Yep, man, there it goes, call failed. 
I'm gonna give it one more go once service comes back because it dropped it again and we will see. But once again, it's back and I have two bars this time. So let's try it one more time. Yep, call failed instantly. Call failed. So calls definitely do not work at this time as was advertised. I might, I'm gonna try and send an image again because that was one thing that we kind of saw possibly work last time, but I wanted to confirm. So quickly before I try and send an image again, I'm just gonna send a quick test message again test and received instantly we're gonna go ahead and just try and send this little graphic i made earlier to try and understand the difference between all these technologies because it should be a lot smaller than one of the images i just took down by the dam and honestly while we're at it i might try and send something from the samsung you know what <laughs> we're sending the same image again because i still don't have anything else mms and it sent right away. I will probably cut this down this time, but you can kind of see the time in the top left there to compare. Looks like it lost service again. Also, I've definitely seen all the comments about AST Space Mobile on the last video, and I'm definitely excited to try them out because based on other things I've read, it seems like they might have a better chance at being better, but obviously nobody really knows until people actually go out and test it because it seems like all they've done is make one marketing video in the UK and that's all that we have so just like this I mean T-Mobile had some promotional materials last year where they did some tests and it worked you know super perfectly because things always work perfectly in marketing videos but when you come down to actually test it things are a little bit different and granted this is a beta test so things could be a lot different once it's finally launched in July they just recently announced their pricing for it. It looks like on the highest tier T-Mobile plans, it's gonna be free or included. On the other plans, it's gonna be $15 a month, but if you sign up early, it's $10 a month, which some people seem like they think it's a lot, but it seems like if it'll actually work consistently well compared to other like Garmin inReach and stuff, um, it seems like it's gonna be way cheaper than some of those services. So. People are excited to see where, where the technology goes. Um, interestingly enough, they actually open it up to other carriers as well. And I'm not completely sure how this works. It seems like it's just gonna add an eSIM to your phone, but right now anybody can sign up for the beta on other carriers. And once it's launched, it'll be $20 a month for you to have that service, even if you don't have T-Mobile. So while I've just been yapping, I, I heard a buzz and this image did come through on this end. Once again, just like in the last video, it did come through. Of course, this one still has not sent. It doesn't act like it's sending anything either. I haven't received it on this end. So that's, that's honestly kind of interesting to me. And I'm curious if anybody else has actually gotten to test this to see what other people's experiences have been with images, because I'm, I honestly have no idea why it's, why it's acting like how it is. <laughs> I was going to try sending a sticker, but it, it keeps cutting out, so uh, I've been just kind of waiting around for it to reconnect, which it just did. Obviously, I don't think that it should work because it's an image, basically, but just just for trial's sake, let's see. It does seem like it's trying. Let me just hold it up. You're not supposed to have to do this. <laughs> to be fair, you really don't when it works. Like I said earlier, the phone connected fine when it was in the car, even when I was driving over here. But when it comes time to actually using it, it seems like if you've only got one bar, then it's really hit or miss. Yep, dropped it. <laughs> nice. So I stepped out of the car just to hopefully prove that being in the car wasn't the issue. I honestly don't think it's gonna work still. It's pretty, it's chilly, but it's a pretty evening here. You can see it's now 618 and not showing delivered. So, I mean, to be honest, that's pretty much what was expected because images aren't supposed to work. It's just supposed to be messaging right now, but I figured it'd be cool if it did go through anyway. One thing that I do find kind of interesting is that it does as soon as it drops out, it switches to trying to send as RCS, which 
doesn't make any sense, but... And I do really want to show, like, obviously we focused a lot on the fringe and things that aren't working super well, but, like, if you are just sending, like, text messages back and forth from somebody and you do have service, then it goes through fairly quickly on both sides. I really do think it just comes down to the amount of satellites that they have and probably the power limitations that they have as well. So if it's going to go live in, what, I think they said July, then... They've got still several months to kind of work out the kinks. I'm probably going to have to go and do another test closer to that date because I'm I'm really curious how much more polish it's going to get between now and then, being that right now it's kind of like mid-February. Here, I just sent a, sent a couple more messages, but I mean, it's definitely very nice that I don't have to like point the phone up at the sky or anything. You know, we've just been, we've just been sitting in the car here, chilling. Right now it's kind of like, and it dropped again. <laughs> and it's back. <laughs> it's back. It's gone. It's back. It's gone. It's back! It's gone! It's back! It's gone! Right now you kind of have to like pick your poison because either your option is Starlink service, which will pretty much work in your pocket, car, wherever, when it works. Or you've got Apple's, which pretty much always consistently works, but you're gonna have to hold your phone up at the sky, you're gonna have to move around. So you've got trade-offs with either. Luckily, this is just a beta, so like I said, hopefully things will keep improving. Definitely stay subscribed because I am gonna keep trying to do some more of these tests, hopefully, and maybe some other stuff. Um, really, I just started this because it was something I enjoyed doing and it seems like it garnered a good amount of attention, so. We'll, we'll kind of see where it goes. I don't really have any specific direction that I want this channel to go. I'm just going to keep making videos on things that I enjoy. I'm probably going to call it for that test, but quick thing since I'm sure people will be curious. Verizon over here, 182 down and 51 up. I was trying to test AT&T because I've also got them, but I couldn't get it to connect on my phone. Car has two bars, but it seems like it's not usable. So since I figured people would be curious because I would be if I was watching this video. I've got access to all four carriers right now, T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, Dish. So maybe let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you guys wanna see. I don't know if anybody would like tests in that realm, but I enjoy testing them out on different areas and stuff. So it's really neat to see different performances. But anyway, that's kind of like the outro at this point. So thank you guys for watching. Peace.